we've been showing you many scenes of World Cup fans celebrating, and most of the time they've got beer in their hands, right? But as the tournament goes on, some fans in the UK may have to limit their consumption because Britain is undergoing a beer shortage. The nation's biggest retailers are already resorting to rationing. Scott Peterson is here following the story. I don't know how rationing is going to go over in the UK with beer, but... I could be happy with it, that's for sure. Yeah, so why the shortage? Well, it's not the actual beer itself, it's what goes into the beer, and that's the CO2, the carbon dioxide that carbonates the beer. That is running down. They're saying this is an international shortage affecting Britain in particular, and so they're running low on beer. And if you look at some of the biggest providers of that beer, used at the World Cup by many fans. We're looking at uh, Booker, their retail stores. They are owned by uh, Tesco, one of the biggest retailers and grocery stores in the world. They're saying they have restrictions on customers, and their customers are the bigger types, bars, restaurants, distributors, traders, to only 10 cases of beer, only five cases of, uh, of cider. And this grocery chain said in a statement that it's due to international shortage of carbon dioxide, where they're experiencing some shortage. Heineken as well, saying that that they are uh, restricting some of their beers. They're one of the biggest brewers in the world. And also, and this is due to a, a, what they're calling an international shortage of CO2. Now, some of the reasons as well is they're saying that there's five CO2 plants within Britain that are shut down for summer maintenance, so they're not producing the CO2 that's needed. But combine that with the beer consumption as well, and that's increased. We know that the UK, every year they spend 41 billion dollars Canadian equivalent just in the pubs and that's that's outside of uh, you know just in the pubs so they drink a lot of beer over there. Yeah I know carbon dioxide charge just makes you think like can't you just blow into a, a tube or something aren't we all just <laughs> exhaling carbon but you're the one who has we to are. make sense we of are. all of this. Well yeah but you have to concentrate it I think I think that's diluted with a lot of other uh, things that they don't want necessarily to be in our food products because yeah. CO2 goes into a lot of different things. Preservatives, for example, putting, you know, apples. But uh, there's a lot of meat processing plants that are also not being able to process uh, plants like poultry, like pork, like some frozen food, like some soft drinks, Coca-Cola. Also coming out saying they're having problems with these storage. So there's a wide impact. And we still have two weeks left in the World Cup. So we'll see what happens with those fans if they start going thirsty. I'm not the only one who has that idea, I've got to say.